Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to do fractional coefficients. Now, with fractional coefficients, what you got to think about first is the word coefficients. The coefficients are the numbers in front of the terms themselves, and fractional coefficients means that the numbers in front of those terms happen to be fractions. So when it comes to dealing with those, you just have to think about, number one, can you, can you combine them? And if so, do the fractions of the same denominator, because that's the only way that you can really truly combine them. So if you have, for example, 3 fifths x, plus 2 fifths x, the fact that they have the same denominator means that you can combine them, and this will be 5 fifths x, which is another way of saying just 1x or just x itself. But if you have something like 4 sevenths x minus 1 fifth x, that's where the least common denominator becomes very important because otherwise you can't really combine them. They got the same base x, but the denominators don't match. So Doing it kind of quick here, the denominate, least common denominator is 35. So 7 goes into 35 five times. So you have 20 over 35x minus 5, five times 7 is 35. So you have to multiply the top and bottom by 7. So you have 20 35ths x minus 7 35ths x, which is going to be 13 35ths x. However, if this ended up being 3 fifths x plus 2 fifths y, because they have different bases, you cannot combine the two terms. So when it comes to fractional exponents, it is possible to do something with them as long as they have the same base. You might have to find the least common denominator, but that's a pretty easy thing to do. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to do fractional coefficients.